it's officially that time of year where in the morning it's nearly freezing and then by lunch I'm sweating. Good morning vlog! Today I'm going to take you along on a little day in my life. It's already 10 a.m. so I've already been kind of up and at it this morning. I had a 9 a.m. horse lesson. When I first started OnlyFans I used to ride horses a lot and then I got busy and almost essentially quit riding and then in 2023 my new year's resolution was to ride more and to ride better so I take horse lessons four days a week in different disciplines and I've really been enjoying how much progress I've been making how much progress my horses have been making and then just you know instead of worrying all about work 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 I'm able to enjoy a hobby that I have I have 11 horses so putting the time into each horse is super important to maintain them and also just continually improve them and myself and so yeah got my horse lesson done this morning changed into my work outfit and now we're going to head to the farm and get into a project i'm not sure what we're going to be working on the last couple days my farm hands have been doing some brush burning and today's not a great day for burning so i think we're gonna tackle a different project but i'm not sure what we're gonna be doing so let's head to the farm and get a game plan for the day today i'm in the chevy work truck not my usual f-350 my F-350 is currently being used by one of my farm hands. I don't particularly love this Chevy, but it's a long box and that's super handy for pulling my horse trailer because I can store hay in the front of the bed and then hook up my gooseneck and pull when I'm, you know, traveling out of state and whatnot. But something I've definitely been looking for um, towards the end of 2024 I'll probably upgrade my personal truck and then really debate either selling the two trucks I have now and getting something different like maybe I don't know maybe a flatbed pickup um, might be kind of what I need for pulling my horse trailer but I don't know we'll see what 2024 brings give me your truck recommendations especially if you pull a lot of horse trailers what do you like? I do like the way my F-350 pulls, but always open to new ideas. Okay, so the project that I'm gonna be tackling today is spreading some compost over our crop fields today. This compost pile behind me is about 70 tons worth of organic material. This pile has been sitting for about 12 months. It's mostly composed of the bedding from our goat and cattle pens. Using compost has done a lot of things for our farm. Um, first and foremost, it has given us an opportunity to take the waste from our animals and make it good for our soil health. Some of our fields are lacking organic material and that is the main reason we are doing compost. Another huge reason that we are doing compost is to handle herd loss. So we have goats and it's very common to lose, you know, 10% of your herd, especially during kidding season. There unfortunately are losses and you have to come up with a solution to that problem. What to do with the losses and for us that is composting them so when we do have a loss we will add it to our uh, manure pile and then it turns into our compost pile after a little while this pile like i said is about a year old we are rotating it probably four to five times a year and we do water it twice a year just to keep the heat and moisture pretty high in the pile and that is one problem that we have with our pile is not having enough moisture in it another problem that we have with our compost is too much carbon so our goat operation uses a lot of wood shavings especially during kidding time and those wood shavings make the carbon a little too high so that's something that we have to manage this compost pile is like i said mostly made up of uh, manure 
and the bedding but it's also made up of lawn clippings from family and friends and then also a lot of people around the farm and myself included take compostables from home and bring them here and add it to our pile this pile is mostly going to be adding organic material to our field but it's also going to be great for areas in our field that tested for low potassium we grid sampled our field and areas that have low potassium will also get the compost added to it our compost is moderate in nitrogen but it does have um you know pretty high potassium so we are going to use it as a potassium supplement and you might be wondering why do we have such low organic material in some areas of our field and that's just from years and years decades and decades of conventional tillage practices and so renewing our soil and the soil health is going to be super important for the longevity of our farm and something that I've been doing a little bit of research on, especially with YouTube, Ag PhD, and other podcasts and resources. So yeah, let's spread this compost. Oh, one thing I forgot to add is the rate that I'm going to be spreading this compost. So I'm gonna do probably four tons of compost to the acre. When we sample, the main thing that we're looking for is the salt concentration, which is higher in compost than manure. So the limit is like 500 pounds per acre, especially with how little rainfall we get. So we could put down like a ton until we reach our salt limit, but I'm gonna kind of be putting it down a little thin because like I said, we have 70 tons and I want to disperse it kind of evenly throughout areas of need on our field. And yeah, let's get the tractor set up and load up the spreader with compost. Okay, so that clip that I just showed you, it shows how consistent and um, dirt-like this compost is. Like I said, we take care of a lot of our herd loss with this compost, and there's no bones or any signs that um, we put an organism inside the pile. And so now it's ready to be spread. Now that the spreader is loaded with the compost, I'm ready to start spreading. Like I said, I'm doing about four tons per acre and it's to make sure I don't go over on that salt limit. And so the way I calculated this rough tonnage for my rate of spreading is I loaded up a dump trailer, counted how many scoops from my skid steer bucket were in it, weighed that, calculated how much each scoop of compost weighed, and then I fill my spreader with six scoops of compost and so therefore I'm able to guesstimate my rate. I'm going to be going at about five miles an hour trying to just get a nice thin spread of this compost to increase my organic material. It's officially that time of year where in the morning it's nearly freezing and then by lunch I'm sweating. So my tractor cab is going to start collecting my hoodies. We're ready to go. We're done with the compost pile. Right now I'm kind of focusing on half spreading compost, half making Instagram real content. So I have my phone set up right here. I'm using the Crazy Leg tripod. It's attached to the door. It's attached to the door and it's holding steady so far and hopefully I can get some good real content of me driving and spreading this compost. I had to stop real quick because I looked back and noticed my hydraulic lines are dragging on the ground. 
I tried fixing it with the wire, but then my next pass, they fell down again. So I'm gonna grab some zip ties and secure them a little bit better. a handful of them usually for hydraulic lines but there's other purposes and I just always keep them in the tractor now that the hydraulic lines are secured let's get going Okay, so finished up with the compost pile right there on that field. Now I am leaving the farm at three o'clock. I have an appointment to get my nails fixed. If you watch my last vlog, I got my nails done before my collab with Taylor Breezy, but I wanted pink nails that kind of match everything and I ended up with purple nails and I'm not a huge fan of color. I prefer natural nails. That's why a lot of times I go with black. So going to go get my nails fixed and then this evening at sunset I have my assistant coming to help me film some Instagram reels and some content for my website and you know just finishing the evening off with that beautiful golden hour lighting and getting as much content filmed during that time that i can so let's go get my nails fixed and then head out to go do sunset photos all right nails are done i got them pink and now i am just eating my supper on my way to back to the farm to film at sunset so while i was getting my nails done the clouds decided to come out and i swear this always happens it's always like the most beautiful day 75 and sunny no wind and then when i go to film at sunset clouds come out it drops down to 60 degrees and really pisses me off so now I'm gonna go try to still accomplish the scene that I have to film today but not as fun as I thought it would be because I was really hoping for a beautiful golden hour sunset and now I'm getting cloudy cold and probably a little bit of wind so I'm going to finish eating my subway my subway order today is a six inch Italian all-American club. I get it with only the bacon, toasted, American cheese, lettuce, tomato, and mayo. So if you have a go-to or better subway order, definitely let me know. I like trying new things and I eat at subway entirely too often. Um, some might call it addiction, but I just call it a habit. And so if you have a better subway order, let me know. Just finished filming. Of course, the sun did not really come out for a beautiful golden hour sunset, but got the photo shoot done. Now I'm going to probably relax in the hot tub. Um, about two weeks ago, I got a hot tub delivered. It's something that I've wanted for several years and so I splurged and got a 16 foot hot tub and I've kind of been taking full advantage of it and using it literally almost every single day since I've gotten it so I think that's what's on the agenda tonight.